and subroutines explained part two. Subroutines that return data. In the previous video called subroutines part one we looked at this program. The program makes a subroutine called add up. Two numbers are added together inside the subroutine and the total of those two numbers is also output inside the subroutine. That program worked correctly, but watch what happens in this next program. Once again, two numbers have been added together and the answer stored in a variable named total. But this time we try to print out the answer stored in variable total after the subroutine has finished. The first part of the program works correctly, but then the program crashes. This line of the error message tells us the problem is in the line where we ask Python to print out what is stored in variable total. The last line tells us the error happened because Python can't find a variable named total. You might remember in the previous video we said that when Python reaches the end of a subroutine it destroys all the variables that were made inside the subroutine. Watch the order of things happening in this program and you will see why this program crashes. The subroutine add up is called so Python jumps back up the program and runs the code inside subroutine add up. It makes variable num1 and an integer is stored in it. It makes variable num2 and an, an integer is stored in it. It makes variable total and the result of adding up what is in num1 and num2 is stored in it. At this point, subroutine add up has finished, so the variables which were made inside the subroutine are destroyed, and Python returns to the place in the program where the subroutine was called from. 2. Python now tries to print out what is stored in variable total, but variable total no longer exists, so the program crashes. This improved version of the program solves the problem because we have added an extra line of code at the end of the subroutine and the line of code where we call the subroutine has changed. It now starts by making a variable to store something in. Watch carefully so you understand why this new program works. The first thing that happens is Python makes a variable named total which is ready to store something in. I've labelled this one in green to make it stand out. Two, the subroutine add up is called. So Python jumps back up the program and runs the code inside subroutine add up. It makes a variable named num1 and an integer is stored in it. It makes a variable named num2 and an integer is stored in it. It makes a variable named total and the result of adding up what is in num1 and num2 is stored in this new variable called total. Notice this is a new variable, not the same variable named total that was made outside of the subroutine. We now have two variables named total, one made outside the subroutine and this new local variable made 
inside the subroutine. The last line of code in the subroutine tells Python that it must get the data out of variable total before destroying all the variables made inside the subroutine. The variable made before the subroutine was used has not been destroyed. Python takes the data with it when it returns to the place in the program where the subroutine was called. Here it finds a variable already made and waiting for the data returned by the subroutine to be stored inside it. Three, Python tries to print out what is stored in variable total and this time it works successfully because a variable called total still exists. This program is now over. Remember, variables made inside the subroutine are called local variables. In this program, the subroutine creates three local variables. Local variables only exist whilst the code inside the subroutine is being run. As soon as Python reaches the end of a subroutine, the local variables in it are destroyed. Therefore, if we want to use data from local variables elsewhere in our program, for example here, we need to return that data at the end of the subroutine before the local variables are destroyed. In this final program, there is one subroutine inside which the user chooses one integer. Each time the subroutine is used, it returns the integer that the user has chosen so that this integer can be used somewhere else in the program. The subroutine is called three times. And each time the value that is returned from the subroutine is stored in a different variable. The values in these three variables are then added together, stored and the total is output. As you watch the final part of this video, think carefully about when are variables made? Which variables are local variables? When are variables destroyed? What order do things happen in? Remember, variables made inside a subroutine are local variables. This is the order the program runs in. A statement is printed on the screen. Num1 variable is made. Subroutine choose num is called and Python jumps up the program to do the code in the subroutine. Local variable num choice is made and an integer stored in it. Python gets the data out of local variable num choice, then destroys this variable. Python returns with the data to the place where the subroutine was called and stores the data in the already made num1 variable. Num2 variable is made, subroutine choose num is called and Python jumps up the program to do the code inside the subroutine. Local variable num choice is made and an integer stored in it. Python gets the data out of variable num choice and destroys this variable. Python returns with the data to the place where the subroutine was called, stores the data in the already made num2 variable. num3 variable is made, subroutine choose num is called, and Python jumps up the program to do the code inside the subroutine. Local variable num choice is made and an integer stored in it. Python gets the data out of variable num choice. 
then destroys this variable. Python returns with the data to the place where the subroutine was called and stores the data in the already made num3 variable. Variable total is made and the data in num1, num2 and num3 are added together and stored in it. The data in variable total is printed on the screen and the program is over.